So I'm back on with the uh, Natino Pro uh, e-mountain bike. It's right here behind me. I've just done a couple of videos, one unboxing and uh, one putting it together. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly mention it, what it is. It's the uh, Natino Pro electric mountain bike. Um, it's got a price tag of £1,999. You can save £100 at the moment at £1,899. Um, there's a 5% saving discount um, when this video was produced. Uh, you can also get a £50 discount if you use the code COMPTON50 when you buy any of the Tino, uh, any of the Escute bikes. Uh, this has got an 80 mile range, it's got a 250 watt Bifang motor, it's an M410. It'll take a payload of 125 kilos. Recommended riding height 100, 160 to 200 centimetres. Now I'm 5 for 8 and this is one of the things I just want to mention about this bike. This is a big bike, okay, so I'm just going to climb on it for you. I just want you to be aware of what you're getting and where you're getting it. Now I'm five foot eight, and when I'm stand over the crossbar, you can't see my head, but you can see it's really quiet. I can just about get my feet on the ground. So it is a really, really big bike. I've got the seat sort of relatively low. Um, so yeah, it should be fine. One other thing I want to mention about the bike, if you bought this and you don't think it's broken and that, and that is, see that? When I first sat on this, this was really, really strange for me. I've never had a bike that does this. Now this is a mid-drive. It's got the Bifang um, motor, mid-motor on it, mid-drive motor. Now, normally when you spin your wheels, your pedals backwards, your chain will go backwards. On this bike, it doesn't. Now I'm assuming that's not broken <laughs> because I haven't ridden it yet, but it's a strange thing. So just a little bit note. Uh, for when you do it. There are a few other things when you're putting this thing together. Please check all the screws. Once you put this bike together, please check everything. The brakes, when these bikes come, all the Escute bikes I've had, all of them, including the Wayfarer, the um, Natino one, the Natino Pro, and the other one I had, whatever that one's, I've forgotten what it's called now. Um, Voyager, sorry, it's the Voyager. Um, yeah, all the, all the brakes come on the wrong side. The front brake must always be on the right hand side. I know there's loads of people out there that say, oh, it's fine, it's on the left. You might just ride that one bike and you've never ridden anything else in your life. I'm an ex-motorcyclist. I used to ride motorbikes a lot and I've ridden bikes all my life, push bikes and stuff. I've done a cycling proficiency when I lived in London. The, bright, the front brake is always, always on the right hand side, okay? That's the same as a motorbike, it's the front brake is on this side. When you get these bikes, I would urge you please to swap them over. And I'm just gonna just show you what you've got to do uh, in a moment to swap them over. But I do urge you to swap them over because if you jump from one bike to the other and you grab a handful of back brake or you think you're grabbing the back brake and you grab a handful of front brake, it's gonna flip you over the handlebars. It can be very, very dangerous. So it's just a bit of a safety thing. If you've never ridden another bike before, it makes no difference whatsoever. Like Denise, she doesn't really know what side of the brakes. But for me that ride other bikes, uh, ride a motorbike, the front brake should be on the right hand side. So I've already swapped these around. So it's just a bit of a note. Um, I've talked to SQ many times about it and I don't know why they're still doing it, but please please, please, please swap those brakes around. It's really important. Even if you jump off your bike and someone jumps on it, you really don't want to have an accident. Uh, other things, make sure that your buttons and controls and everything's done up tight. There was a couple of things I found that were loose. The uh, gear changer was loose, so I had to nip that up tight. The um, power changer up and down was loose, so I had to nip that up tight. Um, the brakes, I show you that what you've got to do on those. Um, just a few little things. There's a, a metal tag on the back, a magnet that's slightly loose that gives you your readings on the speedo. Um, I had a, the, the front light. I couldn't get the front light to work on this bike. On all the other bikes, you just press the button for your lights on, off, on, off. On this one, you've actually got to press and hold it and hold it for about three seconds and then the light will come on. Same as when you turn it off, press and hold it and then the light will go off. So it's not broken. It does actually come on and off. Um, it does work. Um, anything else I can tell you here? You've got five five speed powers, one to five. You've got a nine speed transmission on the back with the Cogs uh, 11 to 32. And I've not ridden it yet, but I'm gonna hope it's gonna give me a little bit more lower down power and a little bit more higher power. 
sorry about that battery just died on the uh, camera so i just got down to saying about higher higher gear and lower gear so yeah hopefully that should just uh that'd be okay but yeah there was a few things that just oh, i was just wanted to be aware of what you need to be aware of when you buy one of these or when you actually get one of these and you get it at home and you put it together um they've got two points on here two screws to attach the water bottle to there's a lot more space in here this is what is noticeable this is a higher higher much higher frame uh, there's a big ground there's quite a bit of ground clearance here as well um, that's quite good. I ought to measure that and see what ground clearance we've got compared to the other Nintino because um, it does look like it's a higher ground clearance. That'd be great for going over rocks and bumps, <coughs> keep the motor from hitting the ground. But it does look like a higher bike, that's for sure. So I might get a tape measure on it and measure it and put it up on the screen beside me. And I'll also measure the height of this crossbar about here where your bits and pieces will hit the, hit the crossbar. So I'll measure that and give you an actual height of what that is so you know like an inside leg measurement. <coughs> the wife's over there. She's actually chasing a wasp and a fly around our dinner. I'm going to have it in a minute, but she's, she's bashing the place to pieces. Um, so yeah, just a few things to be noted. I haven't yet got, uh, got round to working out how to get the mile an hour from kilometers on here. So once I find out a little bit more about the Bifeng controller, I'll do some research, I'll get some information from SQ and I'll do a separate video all about how that works, what you can change in it and if there is anything you can change in it. I've tried to connect it by Bluetooth and at the moment it doesn't. So I'm assuming it's not Bluetooth enabled like the other Natino. So that's it. Don't forget like and subscribe, give us a thumbs up and there are wasps everywhere. Why don't we eat indoors, babe? I'm gonna have my tea now. Where's the fun in that? <laughs> I've got to go, I've got to go. My tea's on the table and the wasps are eating it, so I've got to go. Ciao for now, see you soon. Give us a thumbs up. That's worth a thumbs up if you ever know anyone. Any questions, let me know. I will contact my contact direct for you and I will get you an answer. Bye-bye. Okay, so to change these brakes, what you have to do is just slacken these off. You just unscrew these. Um, until they're till they're loose and on the other end you go down and you just undo this allen key here just disconnect the allen key and this makes this loose and it will slide up and same with the back you do exactly the same on the back you undo this allen key there and this becomes loose and slides in so you come back up to this end and on the back here you just literally pull the pan brake the brake in i'm not going to do it now for you but it's dead easy pull the brake in this will come out there'll be a little shiny uh, hole here Take the wire out, thread it through the front, through the slot here. Same with the other side, through the slot there, you just lift it out, swap them over, and then screw these back in all the way as far as they'll go. Come back down the bottom, pull this cable, lift this one up as far as it'll go, and just do it back up again. Same with this one on the back, pull the cable up, pull it through tight, push this back as far as it'll go, and nip it up. That's all you've got to do to change your brakes. Very, very simple.